What's going on out there? Xavier Porter, shoot the five. You already know. Um, got some things I wanted to talk about, man. I'm just trying to figure this out, man. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. You know, they already. I, I know a lot of y'all already find found out, but I'm just like really trying to figure out what the fiduck is going on. Excuse my language. That's why I said fiduck. I didn't say the other word. I'm just trying to figure out what is going on with this Canelo and Rocky. Rock. What's what's the dude name? Rocky Fielding. I don't even get this fight right here. Like, how did this come about? You know, Rocky Fielding, the WBA regular super middleweight champion. I don't even get that WBA regular. Like, I don't. What is that? Like, you know, you got a you got a champion, and then you got a regular champion. I like. Come on, Kato Kato Smith. Let's keep it a buck. Kato Smith is the WBA super middleweight champion. He knocked out the WBA super middleweight champion, which was George Groves. This guy, Rocky Fielding, Kato Smith knocked him out in the first round. But yet and still, he's the WBA super or the regular. I, see, this is what I'm talking about. It got me tongue-tied, tongue-twisted. The WBA regular super middleweight champion. So he's a regular. <laughs> like, you know, like, so it's like, it's like getting a burger with, with no cheese. So, Kato Smith is a Whopper with cheese. And, and, and Rocky Fielding is just a basic Whopper. He's just a basic burger because he's regular, right? However, we all know Canelo likes to eat his beef. <laughs> so, I got to applaud Canelo for stepping up to 168 to grab, to, you know, to reach out, jump out the window, grab another strap because he probably can't make 160 anymore. See, a lot of people, a lot of people are not peeping game. He probably had a difficult time making 160. So what he does, let me jump up to 168 and fight the easiest fight I can get. And, and, and also on top of that, I don't want to call the guy easy. That's anybody that steps in that ring is not easy. But you know, let me let me let me take the, the easiest opponent that I can get to get a belt to add to my resume. You know what I mean? Canelo's already won many of the, the, the um super welterweight titles. I believe he's won the WBO. Uh, I believe he had the WBC, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he had the WBA, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll double back on that just to, you know, to make sure my facts is correct. Um, damn sure, definitely had the middleweight title. He had the WBC belt. He had his ring magazine. Just just came back and won the WBC um, and, and the WBA from um, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. So it's like, you know, and he gets the opportunity to go up another weight class and, and, and fight for another title. So that means that would make him a three-division world champion if he's successful in pulling that off. That's Hall of Fame status right there. Canelo right now is chasing Hall of Fame. I get it. I get it. He's chasing Hall of Fame, but I also think he can't make 160 the way he, you know, the way he's supposed to. That's the reason why he 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 he, he, he probably gonna let go of the WBA belt just so he ain't got to fight David Lemieux for it. That ain't a stupid move either. <laughs> and be honest with you, that is not a stupid move. Yeah, I'm gonna let go of that WBA belt because there's no need for me to fight David Lemieux, especially not right now. I mean, and th and I'm and I'm surprised, I'm surprised that they're making this fight so fast, so fast out of. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm at work, so you're already, you know, what I mean, I'm surprised they're making this fight so fast after. He just finished fighting um, Triple G in September, and he's getting right back in the ring, and he's fighting the December 15th at the Garden? That's crazy. Like, you just had, you just went through a 12 war, you just went through a war with Triple G for 12 straight rounds, and now you're taking on this this guy from England or London, wherever he's from. He's from across seas because he's time with matchroom boxing, you know. Rocky Fielding at 168. So you're not just fighting a guy at 168 because Rocky Fielding is definitely ain't coming. He's not coming in the ring at 168 to fight night. He gonna make he gonna make 168 more than likely because he's the champion. But on fight night, he probably you fight you probably fighting a huge ass light heavyweight. Now whether he got whether he got the speed and the skill and the technique to to defeat you is another thing that we have to you know that remains to be seen. However, he's you gotta understand Canelo is coming into the ring probably. Maybe the, the 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 smaller guy, but not by much, because I'm telling you, Canelo can't make 160 anymore. This that's the reason why this fight was made. That's the reason to keep the snowball effect with Canelo and keep his stock rising and keep his star shining. 
He cannot make 160. I'm telling y'all, he cannot make 160. Yes, he's chasing greatness. Yes, he yes he's um, trying to solidify his legacy by becoming a three division world champion, but you know you got to understand boxing, and you got to understand the business of boxing, and this 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 right now this is a step for him to slide into the one sixty eight division, kind of feel himself out, you know what I'm saying? Because he probably he might have killed himself to make one sixty, you know, so he's gonna go here. Feel himself out at 168 real quick with, with, with this guy who's like ranked number 9 and number 10 in the division. And he's the champion, which I don't even understand. He's the WBA super middleweight regular champion, but he's ranked like number 9 and number 10 in the division. So, yeah, I'm going to take that guy, scoop that belt, and then I'm going to figure out as to whether or not I'm going to go back to 160 or I'm going to stay here at 168 and kind of gradually grow within the division and, and then take on my little mandatories. Because once he get that strap, and one, once he get that strap, if he do, if he beats Rocky Fielding, he can sit back, relax, and just take on mandatories or take on one of number ones and number twos of the of, of, of who, who, needs, who wants a shot at the belt. And more than likely, if he wins that strap and the guys that he takes on that's either number one or number two are the guys who are gradually coming up from 160 – to 168. So in a sense, he's still fighting middleweights. Like you got to understand the science and the science. This, this is, this is, like I'm. I, I hope people are seeing beneath the hype. Don't listen to all the other cats that oh, Canelo this, Canelo that. Think deep, man. This is big. This is. It's a business, but it's a science to the business, and it's a science to the fight or how the fights are made. You got to dig deep and look at look underneath the surface. Don't just look at the top and say, oh, oh, Canelo this and Canelo that and did it. You got to dig deeper, look under the surface. There's a reason why this fight is made. And, 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 and there's a reason why it was made just like that. Whether or not it's going to be on HBO, I don't know. If it's going to be on ESPN, I don't know. I haven't really, you know, dived in and checked that out because the last I heard, HBO was jumping out the window on August 27th. And then I'm hearing they might not jump out the window because they might have Beef Hall and Joe Smith. So, in November, we'll see about that. But it is what it is for now. Keep it locked. Shoot the fire. Drop your comments. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification. I'm I'm telling y'all, man. Dig deeper behind the surface. It's, it's it's a little deep, man. Think about the science and the business of boxing and how fights are made and how fighters are matched up. Peace.